How would you like to know what happens in the future? Some researchers believe you already do. Well, to a certain extent. Their theory is called predictive programming and is described as a method of mass mind control that uses works of fiction to generate acceptance for planned future events. The common belief among researchers is that intelligence agencies within our own government are planting subliminal messages and themes in news and entertainment. The purpose of which would be to condition us to react a certain way to planned events. According to theorists, the reason why they would do this is because people are less likely to resist societal developments that they've already been familiarized with, and they believe that predictive programming prepares people for large social change. In other words, a shadow government that is pulling the strings behind the scenes. Although that may sound far-fetched, it may not be as outlandish as you might think. The CIA's efforts to manipulate mass perception are well documented. According to declassified documents and various news reports, the CIA engaged in a large-scale coordinated effort to control news media in a project called Operation Mockingbird. Throughout the covert operation, there were well over 400 journalists working as CIA assets and it's even documented that the CIA wiretapped and potentially blackmailed journalists. There's no evidence to show this project ever ended, and many suspect that it was repurposed and given a different classification. Now, it wouldn't be a bad assumption to make that these covert programs have expanded, judging by the overreaching capabilities of the NSA, and not to mention their expanding black budget, which is used for classified operations. This is tax money going towards projects we probably will never find out about. More details about Operation Mockingbird will be provided in a future video, so please stay tuned. Along with media manipulation, the CIA is also known to have engaged in psychological human test experiments like MKUltra. The project sought to literally develop mind control. I'm not kidding. They used drugs, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal and sexual abuse, as well as other forms of psychological torture. So it's not crazy to think that they may have a better understanding of human psychology than the research that is available to the public. Now, as far as evidence for predictive programming goes, there isn't much proof, except speculation and plenty of eerie examples of what could possibly be predictive programming. Shows like The Simpsons and many others have made scary predictions of world-changing events like 9-11. Take a look. Oh, I'd love to see New York. We could all go with the bus company's special super sitter fare. Nine bucks? This one's on me. is under attack, intercept, and destroy! A force field is shielding the warplane. It's, it's getting through. When it is time, we will now strike at the heart of American defense and destroy the Pentagon with one swift and deadly... Uh, Slim, remember those Twin Towers? Yeah, what about them? I don't think they're gonna be so tall anymore. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. Well, you're stupider. No. The mayor has issued a citywide alert. The governor's office is expected to declare a state of emergency within the hour. As of this report, the entire municipal area has been evacuated. We are under attack. Things so monstrous. Terror unleashed from the sacred cotton candy place of our dreams. If anyone is out there listening, get out of town before it gets to you. And I'm out of here. After this commercial message. Gentlemen, is this the match you wanted all along? Or are you going to continue your terrorist attacks on the megapowers? People working as one with one goal in mind. To defeat. 
or should I say demolish the Twin Towers? Ooh, yeah. Hulk Hogan, you talked about the Triangle of Love. Jesse Ventura says there's a problem. Explain. Well, you don't mean, Gene, you get right to the heart of the matter with that question, brother. It's the love, man, that's going to supercharge the mega powers and tear down the Twin Towers. Ooh, yeah. I felt the pain. Hulk Hogan felt the pain, and I can still feel the pain right now. And Hulk Hogan, that pain won't stop until the Twin Towers come crumbling down. <laughs> oh, yeah, right down tonight on prime time, yeah. That was just a few of the many examples of the subliminal predictions leading up to 9-11. Now all these can be simply explained as coincidences. After all, the World Trade Center and the Pentagon were always well-known landmarks and there's so much media and entertainment produced on a daily basis that these coincidences may not be hard to find if you're looking for them. But where this phenomena starts getting really strange is when the predictions leading up to 9-11 go into an incredible amount of detail. For example, in President Trump's book, The America We Deserve, that he originally published in January of 2000, he said, I really am convinced we're in danger of the sort of terrorist attacks that will make the bombing of the World Trade Center look like kids playing with fireworks. A second half of that quote, that wasn't shown by MSNBC, said, No sensible analyst rejects this possibility and plenty of them, like me, are not wondering if but when it will happen. Later in the book he said, one day we're told that a shadowy figure with no fixed address named Osama bin Laden is public enemy number one, and US jet fighters lay waste to his camp in Afghanistan. He escapes back under some rock, and a few new cycles later it's onto a new enemy in a new crisis. So. He predicted, basically predicted, the attacks from Osama bin Laden. Yeah, Joe, he did. And that's pretty eye-opening. But maybe Trump wasn't making a prediction. Maybe he knew that the attacks were going to happen from people he knew within the intelligence agencies. Now I've saved the best for last. Vince Gilligan and Chris Carter produced a spin-off of their hit show The X-Files called The Lone Gunman. Take a look at this clip from the very first episode that aired in March of 2001, six months before 9-11. You're saying our government plans to commit a terrorist act against a domestic airline? There you go. Indicting the entire government as usual. It's a faction. A small faction. For what possible gain? The Cold War's over, John. But with no clear enemy to stockpile against, the arms market's flat. But bring down a fully loaded 727 into the middle of New York City, and you'll find a dozen tin pot dictators all over the world just clamoring to take responsibility. When? Tonight. I wanted to pause here just to point out that Airlines Flight 11, the first plane to hit the World Trade Center, also departed from Boston. Buyers, your flight's gonna make an unscheduled stop. The corner of Liberty and Washington, or Manhattan. World Trade Center. I'm gonna crash the plane into the World Trade Center. I'll tell the flight crew. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Are these coincidences? Um, are there people within intelligence agencies that are releasing this information to warn the public? Or do you guys believe in the predictive programming theory? I'd like to know. This channel isn't afraid of looking for the truth, even if it's in the strangest of places. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please drop a like and subscribe for more documentaries and reports that go beyond the mainstream.